Hey everyone, welcome to Lock and Load Miami. We are right here. You know, you know that I am a person that's very sensitive with the whole subject of guns. You know, I'm kind of against them, but ironically, we are at a gun range. But you know what? I figured that I'm gonna do this because if you're gonna use a gun, make sure you use it here, okay? For recreational purposes only, please. And uh, we're gonna see what's going on inside. Franklin is waiting for us. So um, this is right in Wynwood. So, you know, this is perfect. And it's actually pretty, pretty amazing inside. I thought it was just like a boring gun range. It's not, it's like a lounge. So you can come here with the family, with the friends, hang out, you know, you'll see. Let's go inside. Bienvenidos a todos. Vamos a estar dando un tour en, miren hasta las puertas automáticas, fantástico. I love the doors, by the way, the automatic doors. Eh, vamos a estar dando un tour en lo que es local Load Miami, o sea, el único lugar donde deberían realmente estar usando las armas, en ningún otro lado, por favor, solamente por eh, razones recreacionales. Ya saben mi pensamiento sobre las armas, así que bueno, bienvenidos a Local Load Miami. Y aquí tenemos a Christy, tenemos a Franklin también, que es el general manager. How are you, Franklin? Good, good yourself. Very nice good, good. So you open at 12. Yes. Okay, so we are here bothering them and making them, you know, wake up early so we can shoot this, so we have the place all to ourselves. Sorry about that. Perfect. That's okay. It's okay. Perfect. Perfect. Are you an are you an early bird anyway? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Got to get ready. Got to get ready for the st uh, staff and everybody coming. Definitely. Okay, so I, I love this place. Give me a little tour and then we're going to get, I guess, with the what we're here for, which is shooting some automatic guns, you know? Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Well, here's the tour. Uh, this is the training center we use. And, and again, welcome to Lock and Load. Yeah. This is the actual uh, training facility. I like we the name, use. by the way. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. This is what we use actually to train. So we'll get everybody in there, go over the safety briefing. Uh, what not we have we host corporate events birthday bachelor party you name it we've done it here at lock and load um so just let us know if you need corporate events huh? yeah, we've done team building you, you name it we've done it here dice que hacen eventos por supuesto esta es la parte donde están entrenando o sea de que me imagino que acá te dicen un poquito de el, o sea lo que vas a estar esperando cómo se va a sentir no un poquito de la experiencia en la experiencia antes de ir atrás que es donde van a terminar con las armas pero interesantemente dice de que hay eventos corporativos también así que vean pueden hacer cualquier cosa hasta cumpleaños? Yes. Birthdays. Hey. Cumpleaños, birthdays are bachelor good. Party, bachelorette party, bachelor party. Bachelor party. Bachelor party. Bachelor party. Open at night too? We, a little bit later. A we little do. Later? We do. What time, what time do you close? Uh, 8 p.m. Okay. 8 p.m. So 12 to 8. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah. Perfect time. Horario perfecto de 12 a 8 de la, a 8 de la noche. Bueno, ahora estamos, ¿hace cuánto que están abiertos? Uh, casi dos años casi ahora. Casi dos años. Ok, mm -hmm. nuevos. Bueno, Winwood está creciendo un montón, así que le dieron justo en la clave el, el año, ¿no? Perfecto tiempo, perfecto yeah. tiempo. Yeah. Perfect timing. Winwood is growing so much in Miami, and they've been open for two years, so perfect timing. Ok, the beauty, I guess. Ok, so look, what we have here on the wall are replica firearms. They're airsoft. They're kind of almost 100%. Basically, this is what we give the client, so you can actually pick it up, you can handle it kind of know what you're getting involved in before you go into the range. Is this what they use in movies? This is, no, they actually use the real firearms. In the really? Movie. Yeah. They're All of them are just, it depends, I guess. Depends on the movie, too, and the budget, and the budget. Ah, sure. <laughs> More expensive to get the real ones, right? Yes, yes. Now, these are all, again, replica. Uh, they're for you to use photo purposes and stuff. They give a small, brief detail of what it is, and you go from there. F and Herstel F2000. <laughs> bueno, esas son replicas, o sea, de que es lo que... Lo que utilizan, este J, lo que utilizan para las películas, por ejemplo, depende del costo que tengan la, la producción, por supuesto, y para que ustedes tomen fotos, o sea, de que no van a estar usando cada una. Now, do you get to pick which one you're going to use now, right? Yes, in the oh, menu. You, do. You, you have two versions of the menu. I can show you the menu. There's a menu, like you're at a restaurant. <laughs> okay, it's pretty cool. <laughs> And the bullets and stuff. Tienes un menu como si estuvieras en un restaurante. Básicamente, piensa así, que es, es un, un restaurante que usted está entrando, So I'm a client, right? We're coming in. We're sit you sit down for a couple of minutes, okay? You got two versions. You got the packages, okay? So the packages are all individual, just like an individual portion in a restaurant. Black Widow package. They're okay. all set up. They're themed. They give you how much ammunition you're going to fire, what okay. you're going to eat. Gives you the type of firearms and the price per person. Okay. That's how all the menu is set up. Real 007 simple. package, that's cool. 007, all the German firearms. Now, from there, if you go on this little court, you get the a la carte menu. Let's just say you have a specific... Tiene un menú a la carta también. Palette that you want to you want to try, then on the a la carte you pick minimum of three to go into the firearm and shoot. I guess if you've been here uh, enough, you already know your guns, or if somebody that's already handled guns, uh, they'll know. They, they, they're, this is what it's about. You know what you want already, so pretty cool. Okay, so a la carta, si sabes ya lo que quieres, puedes ir para el otro lado y escoger una de las armas en particular y decir, bueno, quiero esto, y ahí vamos. Bueno, perfecto. 
O sea, un menú total, vamos bien hasta ahora. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the way that it's set up. The yeah. Set up like a, kind of like a measurement restaurant. Yeah. It's actually, uh, you know, this is date night. This is bring the kids out to shoot with the family. It's, it's, that's the orientation you want to go. Anybody This, proposed here? Not yet, not yet. Proposed with guns? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, everybody has a different taste, I guess. Not yet, but <laughs> probably soon, probably yeah. soon. <laughs> I don't know how that would work though. Like, would you put, would you marry, like, maybe like in the yeah, bullet yeah, and all, yeah, shoot it at the ring. <laughs> all right, so how, how we're set up. Now, once okay. you've already chosen the menu, you've chosen what you want to fire in the firing range, uh, we'll take one of the specialists to come get you. So I'm going to be your specialist today. So, be my specialist today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Él va a ser mi especialista para hoy. Cuando vienen, eh, cada uno de ustedes va a tener un especialista y les van a dar una cajita con las balas y los instrumentos. Estamos en vivo. Guys, we're live, by the way, if you're watching us. So it is a little past 11 o'clock. Join us. Um, and this, that looks heavier. Actually, can I? Oh, nice rings. Thank you. Show it to the camera. Miren los anillos que tiene. Eso está chévere. How, okay, how, how much does this weigh? Like, It'd probably bring about 15 pounds. 15, yeah. Not too much. I could do this all day. Yeah, no. Hey, that, <laughs> Actually, maybe five minutes and then I'll... <laughs> this is your job? This is my job. <laughs> and so. look at how many celebrities have been here. You know, we got Ice Cube. Now we're going to get you up there, too. Tenemos un montón de celebridades ya que han venido aquí a Miami. Pues hace dos años que abrieron, pero les va bastante bien. Así que, bueno, vienen aquí con su cajita, con su lonchera, vamos a decirles. So you have your lunchbox ready? <laughs> Lonchera con balas, your lunch bag with bullets, you know. Okay, so, aquí es donde eh, se pone un poco más serio la cosa, porque tenemos que ser eh, la seguridad, que es lo primero, lo, lo óptimo sí, que es. Ya no nos reímos más. <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh anymore, we gotta get serious now. Bit, a little bit. So now we're gonna go right. to the safety or the training part, which is the most important before we have fun. So these I are laugh, but I'm listening, yeah, so don't worry. Perfect. Right? <laughs> these are all uh, blue safety guns. Okay. Um, they're designed so that you could tell they don't shoot, they don't fire. They're almost the real weight um, of it, and we're going to go a couple of safety briefing. The that gives me a, an idea uh, that fake guns should have a different color. They so then they wouldn't be like, you know. Generally, they do. They have either an orange or a blue tip on them to indicate, hey, that's not, not even real. like the toy guns. Oh yeah. Well, you know, like people have been mistaken for having a real gun and it's a toy gun. They should always be in color. Generally, they are. They are. Somebody modifies colors yeah. and stuff like that and plays around. But yeah. But but in theory, like I said, this is this is a 100% legit training uh, firearm. So you want to always hold the firearm away from the from yourself or anything you don't intend to fire at. One, safety number Just everyone. two. Every, everyone. <laughs> safety number two is you always, and it's one of the most important, you want to keep your finger off the trigger at all times, okay? Right. So muzzle pointing down range, finger off the trigger, okay? Um, from there, your stance. What you came here for was to have fun, to enjoy yourself. We're not going to teach you how to put the bullet in the same hole. That's not what you're here for. You're here to have fun. <laughs> oh, man, I thought I was going to get, like, you know, pro here, like 007 kind of thing. We're going to judge your target when you're done, all right? So, I've never done this, so don't judge me. <laughs> no, no, you'll be good. You'll be good. Bueno, now, el, las primeras dos eh, reglas es poner, no tener el dedo en el gatillo y eh, siempre el arma para abajo o sin apuntarle a lo que no le quieres disparar, ¿no? Que es a ti y a la persona al frente, por supuesto. Bien. So, vamos a usar esta Diana como un target, ¿ok? Ok. So, look, usted es derecho o izquierda? Derecha. Derecha, ok, perfecto. So right, right. right. Eso es más fácil. All right, so, como tú quieres pararse, es como si tú estás los pies al mismo nivel que los hombros. Okay. So, your feet the same width as your shoulder. Okay. You want to bring, since you're right-handed, you want to take your right foot a half step back. That's going to give you balance, okay? So you want right. to bend okay. your knees, kind of like a boxing stance. You want to be relaxed, all right? You're, you're getting ready to shoot. You want to be relaxed. <laughs> and in your body weight. I don't know how relaxed I'm going to be, seriously. <laughs> you go ahead, you go ahead. Yeah, I, okay, okay. Uh, so, you're going to go ahead and, and lean your body weight a little forward. That's going to bring your, your weight forward, your shoulders forward, everything. Now, once you pick up the firearm, it's going to go into this pocket that your shoulder naturally creates here. It's going to go here. You're going to put your cheek on the rest of the, the firearm. Look down the sight. Support hand. Okay. Lean forward. When you're about to shoot, lean forward. And then that's when the fun begins. Now, once you lean... And then you get hit in the face. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Doesn't it go back, like, really, really hard? These are, desi <laughs> these are designed to shut hundreds of millions of rounds. Yeah? Okay, so okay. I've, nobody have, has gotten hurt. For an empty shell hitting them. Trust me. So you're good to go. All right. Bueno, o sea, de que, bueno, eh, las siguientes. Vamos a poner eh, los pies con las, eh, a nivel de nuestros hombros. Luego, dependiendo del brazo que uses, si eres derecho como yo, vamos uno para atrás, o sea, medio, medio pasito para atrás. Vamos a inclinarnos un poquito, las rodillas un poquito para abajo. Eh, ponemos el... 
Sí, nos inclinamos un poquito, el cuerpo un poquito para el frente. Y bueno, y lo que hizo él, que... Oh, so now I have to do... Okay. So now you're going to... I'm the interviewer. All right, okay, so. so that should never be there. So see, yeah, exactly. I already made my good. first mistake. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. You put it up. Yeah. You're doing okay. good. You're doing good. All right, keep your. This is heavy. No, the, the other one's a little heavier. So oh God. You your weight. You're gonna get your support hand here. All right, now bring this tight into your shoulder. All right. Now, once you bend your body weight, lean a little forward. Now. Is this when gonna you, bruise me? No, it's not. <laughs> when you, <laughs> when you start shooting, what you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel this. That's semi-auto. That's shot by shot. One shot. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Now, Is when you... The type of gun? The, all firearms. All firearms. But some of them are a little bit tougher, right? Yeah, it just the, depends the size of the caliber, okay? So now... I'm doing my best here, but this is a little bit you, you're with doing, one hand. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right, so once you start uh, going into full auto, which is the lock and load full auto, you're going to lean your... Yep. You're going <laughs> to lean your body forward, and you're going to put more weight on it, because that's what you're going to feel. It's going to hold you. It, yes. As long as you... As long as you bring, <laughs> as long as you bring your body weight forward, that's what's going to support you. So as you bring your body weight forward, push against me, perfect. That's what you're going to get. That recoil system. That's it. That's it. Real but simple. I heard already, no. no. <laughs> I'm Real such simple. a wuss. <laughs> Real simple setup. What you want to do is just make sure that your body's leaning forward. I'll be behind you to support you. It's we're all about safety. Going forward, enjoy yourself. Take your time. You want to speed up? We can speed up. You want to slow down? Just let me know. We can slow down. Okay. Dice de que, bueno, hay que ir al paso. Cada uno tiene un paso diferente. Vamos despacito o más rápido, depende de lo que necesites. Pero una vez que empezás a tirar ya varias veces, cada vez tenés que tirarte un poco, inclinarte un poco más para el frente porque eso te va a jalar para atrás y no vas a terminar como por aquí. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, if you don't pull front? I mean, it's going to get to the point where you're going to be laying down on the floor because it's just going to work that way. All right. So, uh, we're going to get ear and eye protection in. Very important. So some of you guys, um, you know, were tweeting to me and, and yesterday on the show you were telling me, Jenny, make sure that you cover up your chest because, you know, I'm always dressed like this uh, because the shells might hit you and it might burn you. But he says that it shouldn't be a problem. No, should not be yeah. a problem. So I'm trusting him. He's they, the pro. <laughs> they have uh, deflectors on them. They're designed to, to push the rounds away from you, the empty shells. Ok, eh, algunos de ustedes me dijeron de que eh, vamos, a, vamos a intentar hacer un Mirka mientras hacemos esto también. Eh, algunos de ustedes me dijeron que tenga cuidado con, con el tema de las, los casquitos que saltan, porque por ahí te pueden quemar el pecho. Él dice de que no hay problema, así que bueno, me quedo al estilo Jenny, como siempre. <ríe> ¡Ay, qué lindos! So, eye protection. Salta para el costado. Bueno, no, dice de que en realidad no tienen dirección. He says that they don't really have a direction where they're... No, jumping, they, right? They the shells. They do go forward away from the, the actual uh, person that's firing the, the firearm. But, you know, they have a tendency to bounce and find their way wherever they want at the same token. But again, this is safe. We're going to do this. Not No issues. So you got the orange one and I got the pink one. So they got pretty pink ones for the ladies and orange ones for the men. Si no, vamos a quedar sordos aquí. If not, we're going to be deaf, so... <laughs> Hey guys, we're in Lock and Load Miami. Join us, we're live. <laughs> you can watch us in Miami TV if you want. <laughs> so, um, we're also live in Meerkat, you guys, so hey. <laughs> again, this is, this is open for everybody to do. Um, all you would have to do is be 21 years of age or older, or... Okay, so uh, no kids. By a, you can, you, 10 years old we start as long as they're accompanied by an adult. Okay. That's, that's... And how, how does it work with kids? I mean, because the guns are pretty heavy and, you know, the... The reaction is pretty hard. Do you have like smaller guns yeah, maybe for them? The cadet package starts off all small calibers, um, easy to shoot, supported with the actual farm instructor. So again, they're never by themselves. We're always there to make sure that they're safe and have a great time. That's what it's about. And always keep the gun down and with your finger, not on the trigger. <laughs> lo más importante, también tienen paquetes para niños. No, decía, lo más importante es siempre tener el arma para abajo y sacar el dedo del trigger, por supuesto. Eh, ahí está Cristina también que nos está. Christy, right? So, say hi to Christy. <laughs> También está acompañándonos. Así que, bueno, tenemos el lugar para nosotros solitos hoy. Uh, we have the place all to ourselves, so let's hope that we don't, you know, damage anything. Because <laughs> there's, no, there's nobody here to hurt, you know, so we might just break a window or something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we can't. All right. He's like, I can, then I'll have to pay for it. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Did they leave the credit card at the front? No, dejamos tarjeta de crédito al frente. Man, no, no credit card at the front, so. <laughs> oh, we're going to get it now before you enter. A ver, all right, Enrique has to get his, his uh, earplugs on. Let's say earplugs on. All right. I know, you can't forget the camera, man. <laughs> all right, so these all right. actually have, uh, you'll be able to hear us. 
They're noise canceling. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect, perfect. So you, you can hear when I tell you stop. No, right. what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they're, si que pare, que they're actually designed so we can actually speak to the client. The client can speak to us so that they can. Oh, you're speaking through here. No, no, no. no. It's, it's ambient. It actually picks up all the noise. It shuts down the, lar the larger noises when you go through. We need one of these. <laughs> Necesitamos uno de estos para, para, para ti. ¿Eh? Qué bueno. For the, for the nightclubs, you know? Oh, yeah, well, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to get your ammo can. We got our package. This is what you get when you come you in the front door. Protection. Now you're ready to go. So now we're good to go in the range. Estamos listos. Lack and load. Eye and ear protection must be worn beyond this point. That's right. We got it. Go of course, the door is designed for the noise for not to come out, right? Point of no return. Point of no return. Aquí no volvemos, eh? Así que, ojo. Aquí cambió el ambiente. Se volvió todo negativo de repente, no mentira. So <laughs> I'm like everything just changed just now. It so feels different here. Setup. Okay, so when you come in, you're you come in with the actual well, uh, an instructor, like you, you? myself. <laughs> I'll set up all the the firearms uh, ammunition on the table, and then we'll go from there. Let me see what was so heavy that I, <laughs> 15 pounds. Okay, you got the bullets. Tenemos las las balas. HK416. Glock 18. You'll like this one. Yeah. The saw, which is the belt fed. That's nicknamed the Rambo yeah, that's gun. Cool. Then you got the Barrett 50 cow. Oh my god. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna that's gonna drop me on the floor. No, it's not. Eso me va a tirar al piso, yo no, creo. Ahora, ahora, ahora se corre si lo pueden ver ustedes. Pero tenemos uno de cada uno para tener el sentimiento de las posibilidades que pueden tener. How many different bullets do you have like here that people could choose from? Caliber? Calibers, yeah. That's quite a bit. Sorry. I mean, they, they go from 9 millimeter and they build their way up to 0.50 cal. So we got 9, 40, 45. Uh, we even have some of the most exotic, the HK47, the HK416. Those are the, the ones, the uh, uh, P90, which is the 5.7 round. Very exotic. Some of the only place you can shoot those firearms is actually at Lock and Low Miami. Awesome. So you don't have much competition? No, we don't. No tiene competencia. Dice, los únicos lugares donde pueden tener tanta variedad y todo es aquí en Miami en Winwood. Así que, Lock and Load Miami. All right. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Estoy un poquito nerviosa, pero vamos a ver. No. Eh, <laughs> it's like, relax. Me, no está tan lejos, lo cual es bueno. Yo me acuerdo cuando pequeña, ¿no? Uno en, en el campo siempre, pues, la gente hace tiro al blanco, ¿no? Pero en los árboles, pobrecito, los árboles los llenábamos de agujeros. Pero eso hace mucho. Repito, solamente utilicen las armas para eh, cosas recreacionales, como aquí en Lock and Load. Only use guns, guys, for recreational purposes, like here in Lock and Load, all right? Sí. Todo eso está en la pared arriba. Son todos los que tiraron mal. Oh, no. <laughs> he's like, are all those holes in the wall up there because people shot at the wall? No, no, they're actually because the round that we use, the type of ammunition, it's frangible ammunition. Okay. So once it hits something solid, it turns into like a, a separates, and that's what you get, that splatter. Chips of paint. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's all it is. No, but that's a good question. Yeah, very good. Dice de que arriba de todo, la, la, lo que falta de pintura, si era que la gente le había fallado y por ahí tiró arriba al techo. Dice que no, que cuando la bala pega algo, obviamente eso se despedaza, entonces le saca la pintura al techo. Muy bien. All right. Uh, vamos a empezar, or we're going to start off with the HK MP5. So we'll go from small to large, and we'll build up to that big 50 cal. Good with you? Okay. <laughs> I'm not faking it, by the way. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never shot a gun before, so <laughs> I've been around them, but I've never shot one, so we'll most, see. Most of our clients that we have have never done this. Most of them are tourists that come from all over, and they say, hey, I've never done it. I want to try it, um, and this is the opportunity they have. That's why we have an instructor with you at all times. Make sure you're yeah. safe. You've already been to safety briefing. You're almost a pro. The next step now is... That's a problem, because <laughs> that's what people think. They're like, oh, I've already shot a gun, so I can own one now. But, but you haven't gone through the stage of the actual training, so that's what we're doing now. So we're okay, going perfect. on that side. Bueno, muchas personas que vienen, ahí están las armas. Okay, ahora me siento que estoy en la guerra o algo. Now I feel like I'm like ready to go to war or something. Everything is set up out here. Well, the only thing that the, the instructor brings in will be the actual ammunition. Okay. All the farms are set up out here. So Todo esto queda aquí, todo el tiempo. Everything, no, yeah. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll bring up now the MP5, which is what you're going to use on the line to shoot, and we'll go from there. Okay. Which one's the MP5? This is the HK MP5. This is like gibberish for me. <laughs> like he tells me the names, and I'm like, most of you guys probably know it. <laughs> so those are automatic. Yes, these are these are s s 
both semi and automatic, but there are automatic firearms. Okay. Um, semi automaticas. Yeah. So they have a selector switch on them that you can actually. See, <laughs> I'm like, can we have the camera guy now go in the front and make sure he gets a good shot of this? <laughs> uh, so basically, they they have a selector switch. So you decide where you want to go semi auto, which is shot by shot, or full auto. O sea, de que ese es semi automático y eso es full automático. O sea, que no puedes pararlo directamente. So, los otros vamos a empezar caminando, que es semi auto. And then we'll go start jogging and running down the range, okay? My heart is like going like a thousand miles an hour. All right, so now you're right handed, so you'll start from now and you'll be on my left side, and I'll go over the, the training part with you, okay? On your so, right side. On my right side. That's yeah. right. <laughs> bueno, yo me voy a quedar aquí para mirarlo, y ese es el entrenamiento. So, real simple. In order for you to, once this is loaded, it's cocked down range. You have a selector, so you're going to, most of them have selectors on them, so you're going to choose semi-auto or full auto. Again, okay. finger never on the trigger until you, you've got your target on sight, and then you're ready to shoot. Okay. We're going to go for a start off close. We're going to start off with the orange on there. So, come on this side. I'm going to have to have somebody hold that. <sighs> Perfect. Michael. <laughs> All right, so real simple. It's unloaded, so I want to get you to get. We the have loaded. a GoPro right there, so when we edit this and it's not live, you guys will get to see, I guess, what it feels like from the front as well. All right, so. Uh, see, yes. I was already messing up. No, okay. no, you're good. Give me that support hand. Now, remember, it is unloaded, so it's safe. Okay, okay. okay? okay. Support here. Widen out your stance. Okay. Now bring your cheek up a little bit here. Now look in there. Do you see a little red dot? Yep. All right. That's what you're going to use to line up the sight there. All right. Remember. Oh, that's so weird because it's like on the top. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. You figured out. Got it? <laughs> I got it. All right. Now you're going to put it on the orange target. Bring your cheek up there. Now when you're ready to go, remember your finger off the trigger. When you're ready to go, that's when your finger goes on there and you start engaging the target. Again, we're going to start off one shot at a time. Okay. And then when you're ready to go, we'll, we'll take it from there. Oh, my God. He's putting the bullets in. <laughs> nah, so, sorry. I know it seems silly, but... Uh, okay. Woosah. Yeah, woosah. <laughs> I do that too sometimes. All right. Good. Now it's going forward. All right. Now you got your live fire. All right. So engage your body. Lean your waist forward a little bit. Make sure you put that on the orange. All right. Take one shot. I don't know if I can. You can. Um, my cheek has to be touching this. Or the, you, it's best if you support there. It's okay, not going to hurt you. There you go. Oh, that was good. Trigger. I got the target. <laughs> How was that? You're alive? Yeah, that wasn't bad. Toast? That, that wasn't bad. bad at all. All right. I mean, like, bad in the sense, like, I thought it was going to hit me, you know. Part. All right, so you're good to go. <laughs> good. <laughs> you're still here. Perfect. How can people do this, like, so many times. Yeah, this is this is. I what feel like it'll go like all over the no, place. No, 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 no. This is you just take your time, engage the target each time, squeeze, 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 and you hit the target. Get a little further. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Let's try one more round. Get you comfortable. Perfect. Now. You're good to go. Now you understand the function of it. It's easy to shoot, finger off the trigger, keep it nice and tight into your shoulder. Is it uncomfortable? No, it's just tiring. <laughs> well, a lot of people actually do rest. Oh, that's like so much that. better. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, again, we're here for your safety, for you. So, if you want to take your time, slow down, speed up, you let us know. Um, finger off the trigger. Now, remember, that's the most important thing. That little yeah, finger you're, off you're trigger. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Now, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to switch it up to full auto now. I want you to take a few rounds. So you're going to squeeze the trigger, boom, 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 and you're going to let go. Okay. All right? You control the tempo on this. This is, this is you know, something that you're going to control. So you squeeze the trigger and let go. Okay. All right? When you're ready, you no, let me know. No me han visto seria tantas veces, no, pero esta es una de ellas. <laughs> eh, Se siente chévere una vez que lo haces. Lo que sí tienes que acordarte de sacar el dedo del... Porque es un automático, ¿no? Que uno hace así ya directamente. Sí, sí. El, seguro está, el seguro está puesto, pero en realidad el, el seguro de la arma es su dedo. Su claro. dedo fuera de gatillo siempre, menos el, el cono usted lo va a usar. Claro. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good Vamos en automático a ver qué onda. All right. Squeeze nice and tight. Finger off the trigger. Now you're on full See, auto. Did it again. Yeah. Bring it off the table a little bit. Support it on your shoulder. Bring this up a little bit. Can I have it uh, 
on you the table can or a, have, it has a little to be rest. Up. Okay. All right. When you're ready, squeeze. How was that? That was cool. See, I told you though, I felt like it was gonna go all over the place, and I did. Well, no, you kept. You, remember, you're the target. What you want to keep is around that circle, and you're doing very well. Okay. For a first timer, I think it looks like you've done this before. So I'll tell you that much. Maybe I have. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so you're cool. good to go. You want to try a couple more rounds? Okay. Come on. It gets addictive. I'm not okay. kidding. All right. <laughs> so like the bonus always bonus. remember support here, <coughs> lean down range. Now I'm gonna select. Now you're on full auto again. You control the tempo, squeeze, and let go when you're ready. Go ahead. I'm out of ammo. You are. That's how much I liked Good. it. I used it all. Me gustó tanto que terminé todas las balas. Te va a salir caro esto, eh? I'm like, this is going to be expensive for him. <laughs> I'm using up all his bullets. <laughs> we have enough. We yeah. have enough. All right. So you've tried the MP5. Next one's going to be. You try the MP5, the HK MP5. Next one's going to be the Glock 18. Now, this thing shoots 1,600 rounds a minute. It's full auto all the time. You control the tempo by the, the same way you control the trigger press on this, okay? I'm going to bring it up, and then we'll go over that. Oh, so it goes with another gun? Another okay. firearm, yes. Does it get heavier? Fire. Like, fire, firearm. Okay. Uh, the next one's going to be a little bit lighter. Lighter, the weight okay. of the firearm. So the actual size of the bullets that doesn't so matter really on the impact that you're No. Having. Well, it depends on the weight. The heavier the firearm, the less you're going to feel the oh. recoil. The lighter the firearm, you're going to feel more the recoil. Okay. Simple Controversy. Physics. Yeah. Simple <laughs> physics. Está bueno. Claro, es física. Dice, cuanto más eh, pesada el arma, menos vas a sentir el golpe en, en el cuerpo. Pero es súper, súper suave. Esa estuvo bien. Bueno, Yo the, tenía miedo de que golpeara. ¿Cómo ¿You're comfortable? Sí, sí, sí. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Now, if you come with me, we're going to go get the other firearm. Okay. What time is it? Anybody got time? What time is it, Michael? 11.30. 11.30? 30. Man, we've already been here half an hour, and it seems like nothing. <laughs> so we're live, guys. Uh, we're at Miami TV. If you're watching us, awesome. If you didn't catch us live, then um, we haven't messed up yet, so there's nothing to edit. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys are enjoying. We're giving you a little bit of a rendezvous, uh, Lock and Load Miami, machine gun experience. And, uh, oh, look, they have a hashtag, too. Lock and Load Miami. There you go. <laughs> So a little bit of uh, you know what you would experience if you come here uh, with your friends or family. Again, I can't repeat enough. Uh, the only place where you should ever use firearms, just for recreational purposes, please. <laughs> All right, he's getting it set up. I asked him actually, because when you walk in, you see them, you know, having guns on them. And um, one of my first questions was, "Is that real?" He says, "Yes." And why do you have a gun in yourself? He's like, "Well, it's kind of like." You know, like, um, what, what was it that you said? A mechanic, right? Yeah, he goes it's to the mechanic. He has to have tools on him. It's yeah. just a tool. That's all it is. So, so, but it's loaded, so. <laughs> you got you to gotta know how to use a tool, too. Yeah, true. O sea, que él siempre tiene un arma con él. Eh, es como, dice, si vas al mecánico, el mecánico siempre va a tener sus herramientas. Así que es lo mismo para él. Él tiene su arma, está cargada, pero obviamente no la usa. Es solo por, pues, porque se siente cómodo. <laughs> So this uh, was nice. Now this is the Glock 18. Okay. This is the fastest thing that we have run. And so más rápido que so mi seiscientos tiro por minuto. Okay. So eso es sixteen hundred. Wow, a minute. That's crazy. Yes. Um, it can basically empty a magazine of thirty-two rounds in approximately one point two seconds. That's how fast it goes. Um, there's no real. En uno punto segundos puedes terminar todas las treinta y dos balas. Qué locura. Uh, there's no real practical uh, feature for this. Some of the special units use it for close quarter stuff. Um, that's what it's designed for. So we're going to go ahead and start this one up. I'm going to give it to you unloaded, okay. safety on. I want you to get comfortable with it, and then we'll go from there when you're ready to go. It's shorter than the other one, right? It's a lot yep. shorter. It's designed for uh, portability. Okay. So basically, it's a handgun inside of a stock. Está diseñado para que sea más portable, o sea, de que es como una, una arma más pequeña. Oh, I see it, you're right. Yeah. Es una arma más pequeña dentro de, de la parte larga, no sé cómo se llama. El stock. El stock. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to go. Okay. Oh, we're switching okay. jobs here. You got to multitask a lot. Huh? <laughs> so it is unloaded. Okay, está de acá. I want you to get comfortable, support, so bring your waist. Perfect. All right, now, again, see the little circle? Oh, this is much better than the other one. Easier, but you're going to feel a little bit more recoil back. Oh. So you're going to support here in your shoulder. Give me your thumb, want to grip, nice tight grip, tight grip here, and a nice firm grip here. I'm going to help you support this, okay? Okay. So you kind of got the gist of it, you see the circle. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, the circle on this one is actually stronger than the other one. Oh, it's a little bit more visible? Yeah. Now, you ready to go? Whoopsah. This is an adrenaline rush. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's just pura adrenaline. Well, this is the only place you can actually shoot the Glock 80. So yeah. let's, let's get. All right, so remember, you control the tempo on the trigger. Squeeze, squeeze, boom, 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 and let go. All right? How, how long should I squeeze it for? How do you feel comfortable? Well, I guess no more the than one four in the, two seconds, right? The, the fr yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. The first, the first burst, just squeeze and let go. Just boom, okay. boom. All right, so you get the gist of it. All right? Fire one ready. Crap! Finger off the trigger? <laughs> Sorry. Finger off the trigger? That was a, that was was a that? lot that was tougher. Good. Yeah, the recoil. But still, so, I mean, still soft, though. Yeah, you can yeah. Uh, manage it. You can manage it, yeah, yeah, Perfect. yeah. Perfect. All right? That was more intense, like, way more intense. Tight to the shoulder. Good. You're doing great. Holding it on target. Good. You get scared, like before Good. you shoot. I mean, obviously, I've never done this before, so. Yeah. Okay. You wanna now this? You got a couple of rounds left, so you could just let it go, squeeze okay. the trigger, and don't let go until it it stops shooting. There oh, you go. I had one more. <laughs> oh my God, I'm hot. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's you know you get nervous and yeah. Now. That was, I prefer the other one. That was a little bit too much for me. Okay. But it was cool. Uh, this is, the, again, this is just the fastest thing. This is, this is, doesn't really serve a practical purpose, but the design of it is to put rounds down range or to shoot as fast as it goes. And it does its purpose. That is, that's but, it. Yeah, de definitely. But I'm sure like you probably, you, um, people that want this are probably the ones that have been here before and they got to manage for it or no. It, it's, it's almost in every package because we want you to get okay. that. This is like a little Miami. We want you to get that full auto experience okay. when you come out. This is one of the ones that a lot of people enjoy. It's, it's fast. It cycles well. It's not difficult to shoot. So people do like this firearm. That's how we get it. Now. It that adrenaline pumping definitely a lot more than the other one. <laughs> now what you it does. What you what you've shot so far are sub caliber guns. They're all pistol caliber firearms. Now we're going to go into a Solo hace calibre hasta ahora nada más hemos eh, tirado. Esta definitivamente la sentís eh, no no es que te duela. Yo pensaba, viste que cuando uno ve videos la gente dice ow yeah. y no, no te duele. People say ow, you know, you see videos of people shooting and they're like and you feel like it like hit them, but no, not at all. It just I mean, it's kind of like if somebody went like that to you. Exactly. That's how it is. It's so. a, it's Pero se siente bien. It's also the training, el entrenamiento. Eh, los otros te enseñamos cómo agarrar la arma, cómo, qué vas a esperar. Por eso es lo que lo más importante es el entrenamiento y seguridad. Mm -hmm. Eso es lo que te, hacemos nosotros aquí. That's what makes us different from most of the other ranges. The in training, and you're with the instructor that's going to help you out in the range. Well, how does how do the other ranges go? You just go by yourself. Uh, a lot of the ranges, it's just your buyers. You go solo into the range to shoot your own firearm and that type of stuff. This here on this side, you shoot machine guns. So you're supported. You have somebody training you from step one to step two. Yeah, so you want to make sure nothing goes wrong. 100%. Make sure uh, that you're safe. You're enjoying yeah. yourself. You're having fun. That's what it's yeah. about here. Positive. <laughs> bueno, ellos son uno de los únicos lugares, dice, porque muchos lugares donde la gente dispara, puedes traer tu arma, dispara si estás solo. Pero aquí siempre hay un instructor. Eh, recuerden de que son armas semi-automáticas, o sea, de que es un poquito más también automática. peligroso, ¿no? Automática. Ah, automáticas. Automática. Ok. All right, so semi-automática, ¿qué sería? Semi-automática es tiro a tiro. Un tiro. 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 Cada vez que tú jalas gatillos, un tiro. Automática okay. es cuando disparas varias balas. A la vez. Uh -huh. okay. Got it. Vamos con el, ahora vamos a disparar el HK416. Ahora te lo traigo. Ok, ahí va a ser el otro. Bueno, amigos, estamos en vivo en directo. Eh, 11... Pasada las once y media, un jueves aquí en la mañanita, eh, abren a las doce, así que bueno, ya eh, ya hemos visto algunas personas por aquí asomarse en el vidrio. ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? Que abrieron antes hoy. Pero, um, chévere, estamos en Local Miami, aquí en Winwood. Winwood es uno de nuestros lugares favoritos en Miami para visitar. Eh, y bueno, mostrándoles el único lugar donde realmente deberían, pues, eh, utilizar estas armas, ¿no? All right, so, este es el HK416. Es, okay. es especial en varias, varios aspectos. Uh, uno de los únicos ranges que usted puede disparar esta arma, uno. Y segundo, es la arma que they said that was on the raid uh, to uh, take out uh, Osama Bin Laden. So it's one of the ones that the Navy SEAL had on them when they did so that. So is this what they use most of the time? One of them. One of them, yeah, okay. That they use. A, they don't use the other ones? No. Uh, the MP5, okay, they do. That's the first one, right? That's the first yeah. one you shot. Good, okay, good. <laughs> I pay attention. Um, la primera arma que usamos y estas son las que más que nada usan los Navy Seals eh, cuando van pues a, a la guerra o a hacer sus misiones.
So, este es un poquitico más pesado, uno. Segundo, va de, va, va, lo va a sentir un poquitico más. Okay. Más todavía, no, ya no, no quiero hacerlo. No, no, no. Ok. So, ¿estás listo? Es que tú me dices eso y me pones más nerviosa. Bueno, okay, no te lo voy a decir más, <laughs> no entonces, está bien. Entonces, ¿sabes qué? Let me catch it by surprise, because he tells me that it's going to be heavier, and then I get more nervous, you know, like... <laughs> All right, so, All right. now, I want you, it's empty. I want you okay. to get the weight of it. I'm going to bring the stock just on a little bit to support. Remember, always. It's lighter. So, not yet. I haven't let it go oh. to yet. <laughs> All right, squeeze. Okay, it's not it's lighter. It's a little heavier. He said, it's more light, and he took it, and it's not light. So, square your body off to this. All Man, right. no wonder you Navy guys are all muscle and buff. This is crazy to hold. So look down, <laughs> look down that sight. Same sight system, same everything. So training is the same. All right, I'm gonna get that target. Can I go low? Or you can. You can. I can. You feel comfortable doing that? That's fine. <laughs> That's really low, but yeah, you can do that. It's heavy, you know. So okay. Feel I feel low. like since it's heavy, when I shoot, it's probably gonna go all over the place because no, I'm not gonna not. be able to handle no, no, no. it. No. No, definitely not. Heavier, remember, it's more controllable. Okay. When you shoot. So it's it's on safety now. I want you to line up the sight. Come for the orange. All right. You're making it difficult. You're, it's, I can't see it. No, I'm kidding. Oh, it's got to make it fair for I the know, target. It's got to get the target sometimes, <laughs> Brittany. All right, so now you're ready to go shot by shot or semi auto. Ready when you are. Wow. How was that? It's got all your fingers and toes? That, that was airy. A little. <laughs> Because you feel the air on your face. Yeah, the, that's the actual pressure of that round. Remember, these rounds are designed. But you're to right; go. it was softer. Yeah, it's a little bit soft because of the weight. All right, good to go. Wait, automatic? Nope, you're on oh, semi auto okay. still. Get you walking first before you get you running. <laughs> baby steps, baby steps. Vamos a poquito. Esta es más pesada, pero más ligero cuando tiras. Perfect. Te tira para atrás un poquito, sí. So yeah, it does pull you back a little bit. I'm okay. born to do this. That's really bad. <laughs> You're very look. I mean, I got the center every time. And that's and again, I want you. We want people to understand these aren't difficult to shoot. Once you get the training, everything's lined up. It's zero to. You're here to have fun. Enjoy yourself. You're doing semi auto or vamos a semi automática ahora. Ahora cuando vamos a automática. No, no piense mucho que lo va a poner todos los tiros en el mismo hoyo, que es... Porque es, pierdes el control, ¿no? Claro, y por, eso, y por eso que hasta usando esto de trabajo, de lo que sea, los otros generalmente nunca, las armas nunca están automáticas, siempre. Como tú ves en los movies, brrr, yeah, they don't wanna, yeah. ellos no, they don't run out of ammunition, <laughs> like that. No, no, no. That's true, in the movies, they, it's like, how many shots yeah. you got left? So, and we want you, this is an experience, so we want you to, to get the full just of the experience, so... We start you off on semi-auto. If you do automatic, you're just gonna, it's going to be over in yeah. a couple of minutes, so and, it's no point. And the, exactly. So we want to go make sure you go start semi-auto, get the gist of the firearm, how it aim in it, and then you go into full auto a couple of rounds to see the, uh, the experience. Let's bueno, así que la idea es mantenerlo, no hacer automático porque si no entonces también se te acaban las balas enseguida. No es como en las películas que tiran el automático y no terminan nunca. Decís, ¿cuándo va a recargar las balas? Nunca. <laughs> Bien. Ready to go. How many do I have left? You, you got I mean, about 20 rounds left. So I have to shoot all 20? You don't one by to. one? We're going, no, no, we're going to go to full auto now. Oh. Now you're in the lock and load experience. Oh, God. All right, remember, I don't know. hand up here. Nice tight grip. You can leave it down there if you feel comfortable there. All right, lean tight to the body. I got to be honest, side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle finger. this one in automatic. Take your fingers up there. All right, so now you're going to be on full auto. You control the tempo. All right? Go ahead. <laughs> He's staying behind me just in case. Oh, it's, it's to support you to make sure that you're comfortable. With something. No, no, no. When I was done, That's you're like, finger off the sugar? Okay, I can go now. <laughs> All right, so we're good to go. How was that? That was more intense. Good. Little yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. Hey, we're building you up. We're building you up. <laughs> Eso fue un poquito más intenso, eh, pero bien, igual de todos modos. Se sintió sí. You, I did feel it a little bit more when it was an automatic on my shoulder. But um, yeah, but I guess it's normal, of course, because yeah, you're. The, the, these rounds are designed to travel a lot, a lot further distance. Ah, esto, esta bala tan diseñado para el. I thought you told me they were gonna go to the front, man. They bounce, they bounce. You told me not to tell you anything. <laughs> Damn. So, 
So. Okay, so I didn't get hit. We're good. I'm not burned or anything. I'm so coming out safe so far. All your toes, everything. Good to go. No, no, ninguno en el pecho, pero están todos por allá atrás. Les pego alguno. You guys get hit? No. Are those? These are EOTech. They're electric sites. EOTech electric sites. What's uh, the sites? The the optic that you're oh, looking the through. Site, the site. Yeah, the sight system in it. This is a particular one. Is the EOTech, which is on most of our firearms. Okay. Um, to go. Next one we're gonna get is the saw. Now the saw is that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a squad automatic weapon. Oh. It's designed uh, to put a lot of rounds down range or to shoot as many rounds. And it's it's usually a small unit firearm. I'll bring it up now. Same caliber, you're going to feel less recoil. Okay. Este dice que se va a sentir menos la presión eh, para atrás. El calibre es el mismo, pero bueno, otra más. If we have any Mirka questions, uh, you're more than welcome to ask. And <laughs> guys, uh, we're live. Actually, that's a good way to um, use the chat. You know, if you guys have questions for him, uh, you know, go to Mirka and chat it there. Eh, interesante, algunas personas ahí preguntando cosas y <laughs> ahí tenemos a alguien que les responde, pero si quieren preguntar algo en particular, estamos en vivo y tienen el chat en, en Mirkat. And what is this that you have in the back of you with uh, the blue light? Un, un poquitico más lejos el target. You give me a, a, diff, a more difficult gun and you're putting the target farther away from me? Are you crazy? <laughs> I gotta get a target some type of help. That you're, is insane. You're doing great. You're doing great. That is a crazy gun. No, it's not. Esa, esa arma está loca. Eso es demasiado ya. Esto, esto sí es lo que usan ¿no? los, los militares. La mayoría de, de, lo, de las unidades pequeñas tienen este tipo de arma porque dispara muchas balas, carga bastantes balas, que son un ¿Cuántas balas más o menos? mínimo 250 oh, wow. balas carga esto para disparar. 250 bullets minimum, so that's what the, uh, normally they use, I guess. Um, the actual thing, unless you put it, and it's belt fed, so you can continue feeding it as many as you oh, want. Right. Oh, is that the one that you see in the movies where there's a person right. next to you and like yeah. they keep giving it to them? Esa es la que vemos en las en las películas donde está el tipo al lado y le sigue dando balas y balas. Who was it that the one of the first movies, like way back in the day? Was it Rambo? It? it was in Rambo, was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was, right? Where? So this is a Rambo. He had, this is kind of, he had the 60, which is a bigger caliber. Okay. You know, because he's a lot bigger than, than me holding this thing. El estilo Rambo, dice, totalmente. Creo que todos conocimos esta arma en el estilo Rambo. All right, so, All right. Um, básicamente, como, como todas las armas que, que tú disparado, como todas las armas que tú disparado, um, tiene el mismo sight system, todo lo que tú, el support está un poco más diferente. Por favor, pónganse ese lado para ver. We already got some of your pals over there. <laughs> Mira para atrás que está. <laughs> Ya hay gente trabajando aquí. So, ¿Cómo tú vas a soportar esto? Es muy fácil. Right, so Sorry, guys, I'm giving you my back. That's, that's a good side. They don't, they're doing this. <laughs> All right, so what you want to do is look down the side. You want to, you can stand straight up on this. Okay. Your, le, your left hand is going to go in here. You're going to put your cheek breast on here, and you'll be lined up with that red side. Now, if you want to move the target, just move yourself. See your legs? Okay. All you want to do is move your so body. So it's all body weight. Yeah. Okay. And this Todo is, cuerpo es totalmente el... Y esta arma es automática, period. Tú dispara, tú, tú jala gatillo, va a disparar, tú lo sueltas, empieza, no, no dispara. Okay. Sa safety's here, safety on and off. Okay. I'm going to load it and make sure that I give it to you with the safety on. Okay. Uh, can I hold it first? Of course. Like we did with the other ones? Of course. <laughs> so right. that goes on... Nope, this hand. This. Perfect. All right, good. You're going to support it there. Bring your weight, squeeze your, your arm in. Give me this hand. Nope. Give me oh, Put see? It in here. Nice I'd rather do that without the bullets on, you know? <laughs> now, perfect. What you want to do is you want to you imagine, look, use your, your hand as a cheek rest. There you go. Oh, now I see the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I was go. looking at the black thing. Oh, no, no. You should be so looking, I'm at, looking at the red. There's <laughs> a little red dot there. <laughs> All right. Good to go. Now, that's oh, easy. Oh, okay, okay. Now, all you want to do is push with this hand, pull down, with this hand, push back. Oh, okay. That's it. This is going to be a lot less recoil. You're going to okay. feel less, less than anything else you shot. Okay. okay. You can support it there, hold it there. Finger off the trigger. Now I'm going to load. These are real simple. These are uh, saw links, okay? Okay. So basically, you're going to line them up to the site, put the loading gate down. Now you're ready to shoot. Straight back. Yeah, a little bit heavier. A little, uh, it's got a little, it's got a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 50 rounds there of 556. Five, now, safety. Un poquito más pesado se quedó ahora, pero está bueno. Pero va, va a sentir lo menos. Okay. Okay. This is the actual safety. So when you're ready, you're going to push with this hand. You're going to push that safety off. 
Okay. Engage the target. Boom, 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 and let That's go. where most of the safety is, right? Yeah. In most Basically, because yeah. your this once this hits the the frame, you should be able to control everything from the hand. Okay. All right. So when you're ready, you're gonna push that safety off, and you're good to go. I feel like I'm too short for this gun, man. No, you're not. <laughs> you're doing there awesome you with everything so far. Boom. Now you're good to go. Oh crap. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> you start the morning. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm definitely awake now. It wasn't the coffee. <laughs> Ya me desperté y no fue el café, chicos. Hold it a little bit longer. There you go. Good morning. <laughs> and welcome to Locker Room. <laughs> You know, when, when we got here, um, I'm not much of a morning person, and today I, I woke up really early, like at 8, I know, right? Most of you wake up at 8, but um, <laughs> I told him, I'm like, you know what, I need, I need a colada or something. He gave me this little shot of uh, coffee, which I don't drink much, but I was asleep until that happened. <laughs> yo, te, yo estaba dormida hasta que pasó eso. So are all the bad ones the automatic ones? You make me look bad, man. <laughs> A ver, a ver cómo, a ver cómo me fue. Good. It's, that's that's a, a shot group. So the tighter the, the rounds are, it's a good shot group, and that's very well. That's good. <laughs> you're, remember, you're aiming for this area, and you're doing very well. I'm a dangerous person. Yeah. <laughs> Soy una persona peligrosa, o sea, de que no me den un arma en ningún momento. Y nos queda el, el ultimatum. We have the ultimatum, which is this crazy thing. Now, now you have a date with the Barrett 50 Cal. Barrett 50 Cal? His name is Cal. We're calling it Cal. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> or it could just be his name, you know, Cal. <laughs> bueno, hemos, hemos hecho basura. We're, do you recycle? <laughs> yes. Oh, you do? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> so wh wh what do they do with these shells? Let me see if they're still hot. I don't want to burn myself. No quiero quemarme, así que... We do recycle. Si reciclan. ¿Y qué hacen con, la, con esto? ¿Qué hacen con esto? Estos son los saw links. So this is what you what you re use to remake the links that we just shot, and the ammo will. Oh, so you re re remake them? Yeah, we're here. Recycled. We That's do. Really cool. O sea que esto ha sido tirado varias veces. <laughs> so these have been used a couple of times. Maybe. 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 Yeah, right. I guess. Yeah, you can't really know. <laughs> I can't. I didn't check. Pero está chévere que reciclen. Um, nosotros una vez entrevistamos a una persona que lo que hacía es que como mucha gente no los recicla, ah. él hacía collares eh, sí. con las balas, sí sí sí, okay. um, y lo donaba digamos a las personas a los veteranos y todo. We um we had a person that we interviewed once that he used the shells, the empty shells, you know, to uh, as jewelry, actually very pretty, you know, they like engraved on it and everything, and the, everything that they, the money that they collected went to the veterans, so it's pretty right. neat. That's All okay. right. Now, you you've shot. From 9 millimeter pistol caliber, 50. empezamos de 9 millimeter, eh, subimos al 556, which is what NATO round, which is standard U.S. military round. Um, then now we're now we're graduating to the .50 cal. They move fast here. No. <laughs> <laughs> se, se mueven rápido acá. Ya me gradué y todo. Tengo la última. De, o sea, de que antes de disparar la más grandota, tenés que ir desde la 8 millimeters hasta. ¿Esto cuánto tiene? 9 millimeters hasta .50. Y esto es .50. That's point, that's point .50. The only That's place deadly. Can, the only place you can shoot the Barrett 50 cal indoors is our rounds. That's it. Here. Yeah, welcome to Lock and Low. El único lugar donde pueden tirar uno de estos en en la Florida o en Miami. Florida. En la Florida. <gasps> In all Florida, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. So now, now we're gonna get you. Now, what I want you to do is, we're gonna aim at that sticker. That's okay. your target on that on that site. Why does it normally go down a little bit? No, 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 no. But I want. I want it on the orange one. No, nope, I want you to shoot the target so you can take it home, roll it up, hang it on the front door. <laughs> okay, I get it. Well, why not put it on the orange part? No, uh, it's easier that way for you. Oh, it's easier. So you can focus. You know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done this once or twice. <laughs> I hope so. Dice de que te pone el sticker, o sea que esta vez no le vamos a dar a naranja, le vamos a dar al pegotín, así te lo llevas a la casa. Así segura que tu, your focus, your punto de focus, está, vamos a ver si tú puedes ver. <laughs> Tengo 20-20, eh? I have 20-20, you know, so if not, I'm going back to the LASIK Institute and complaining. <laughs> y ya aquí se están preparando también para empezar, ya abrieron entonces, ya son las 12. Yeah. So there's, they're already getting ready, I mean, uh, people are already coming in, uh, they've opened, so it's 12 noon, that's when they open. 
Let me ask you a question. How much is one of these things? How much the rounds cost? Yeah. It costs you fifty dollars to shoot that. Wow. It's nice. a special thing. It, yep, and it's the largest round again you can shoot in the U.S. Period. Este es el más grande que puedes tirar en todo Estados Unidos. Son 50 dólares para poder tirar uno de estos. La mira de esto un poquitico más diferente. En vez de ser un red dot, esto va a ser una cruz. Okay. So this is more of a traditional sight. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how. Nothing traditional for me. What are you saying? Este es más tradicional, dice, ¿no? La mira. All right, so I'm going to show you how to hold this thing. So you want to support just like you were supporting the other rifles, okay? Va va balancear el cuerpo. Your support hand is going to go in here. Okay. Okay, so you could move the rifle all you want. You're going to bring your cheek up there until you see that that sight system comfortable on the sticker. Line this forward. Lock it. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, here you have your safety, so you're going to put the safety off. Now, oh, when you shoot, it's on the it's on, on your the other side. Okay. We'll go through that. When you shoot, what you're going to want to do is focus on the target. Breathe. Breathe all the air out of your lungs. Aim. Fire. Like That's in the movies. You, just like in the movies. <laughs> just like in the movies. <laughs> Como right. las películas. Is there a reason why, you're, why we're putting uh, all the air out? Yeah, because just to relax and not move it, maybe. Right? It, once, once the air is out of your lungs, then you're relaxed, so you can actually focus on the target and then squeeze the trigger. On the other ones, I try to hold my breath. No, it's, it's bad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo well, las otras me contenía el, el, la respiración porque tenía miedo que me, me iba a hacer más nerviosa o moverme. Este tienes que exhalar completamente. Pero ya tú tienes, ya tú tienes, ya tú disparado cuatro almas y todavía tienes todos los dedos, las <laughs> los más. Bien, estamos bien. What is the purpose for a, you know something so big? What what is this used for? Okay, like so let's say in the military. Uh, in the military, this is a traditional um, anti-material round. It's designed to go uh, tanks, vehicles. That's oh, what this okay. is originally designed for. Um, it it could be used for uh, different applications, but the original design for it. The Coast Guard here uses it for like uh, speedboats. Okay. When they're on a helicopter, they shoot the motors out with this round. Right. So it's, that's what it's designed for. Anti-material. So not. People. <laughs> it's not, no, it wasn't originally designed for people. Right. No, um, but again, it's 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 yeah, a, that's it a, is a big. I mean, that's a big round. Um, travel for this the round uh, can actually be fired accurately at almost two miles. Wow. Yeah. So it's. Puedes estar en un rango de dos millas con esto y y todavía tirarlo. Dice de que yo le preguntaba que cuál es el propósito de que sea tan grande. Entonces dice que la mayoría de personas que lo usan son o en tanques de guerra o por ejemplo la la guarda el guardacosta. Eh, cuando tiene que apagar el motor de un bote, quizás que está en la fuga o algo, le tiran al motor y con esta bala lo, le tumban. Claro, porque digo, para una persona eso es demasiado okay. grande, pero bueno. All right, so now since you're shooting the bear at 50 cal, I'm going to let everybody know out there, it is a special thing. So everybody in the range, you know, and out there there's another blue okay. light that warns everybody, hey. Is that like a stay away thing? Or? No, no, it's oh. actually letting you know, hey. <laughs> Back up, guys. Have fun. <laughs> bueno, cuando ustedes compran entonces esta bala, le habla, le, oh, le, le avisan a todo el mundo en el rango, o sea, de que todo el mundo sabe de que estás por tirar una de las grandes. Okay, I'm nervous because this is like a one-time thing. Like if you don't get it, then I don't get a sticker home, man. I've been so, I've, so far I've been good with the, so far, yeah, you know. Good. So yeah. let's see again. This is gonna check your eyesight. You said 2020. We're gonna see. This is gonna tell me the truth. Eso me va a decir la verdad. El 2020 de los ojos. All right. If not, I want a refund. <laughs> All right. So remember, support tight there. Bring me your. Nope. Oh, this is your shoot hand. This is your support. Bring it nice and tight there. From here, you should be able to bring your shoulder off, and you're supposed to be able to pick this up. Got it. Okay. Put your cheek up here. It's not loaded at all right now. Okay, good. Now you see the sight? It's a little different. You see the crosshairs? Miss 2020? Uh, I see it, but it's like Bring way your head up a there. Forward. Oh, okay. Better? Yeah. All right. Let's check it though. <laughs> oh, there you go. I all see right. it perfect. Ah, now we got I wasn't closing one of my eyes. <laughs> oh, that helps. <laughs> now, I'm not loading it, I'm opening okay. the bolt. All right. So now the round is ready to be fed into the firearm. Wait, let me see. Okay. All right. Now, when you're ready to shoot, okay, you're going to go ahead and take your time. Take your time. Once you get everything ready and air out of your breath, you're ready to squeeze, give me a three, two, one count, and then you engage the target. Okay. All right. Finger off the trigger. I'm loading the round into the chamber. It's loaded. Safety is here. So safety is on. 
When you're ready, take your thumb, push that safety down. Okay. So right now, safety is on, officer. Okay. okay. Take your time, aim. And before We're I on. shoot, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, three, right. two, one. Three, two, one. And then take all the air out of your breath. Safety off. Ready to take the safety off? Yeah. Safety's off. Hold it nice and tight to your shoulder. All right, Barrett going off. Three, two, one. Take your time. Hold it tight. Can I just shoot? Yeah, you, when you're ready, say three, two, one, count and shoot. Three, two, one. Oh! Welcome oh, to the I think I lost a the shoulder there. It's still there, it's still there. Oh, that was oh, perfect. Oh, good job. Good, good I get another to mommy. Ay, mommy, mommy, quiero mi mommy. That's your gift. That's your Barrett 50 round. Oh, That's great job. I'm lightheaded, man. Huh? I'm lightheaded. Oh. Like, I swear. Oh. You did great. You took out 2020. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, eso fue, eso sí que fue intenso. Intenso. Te digo que 50 dólares, pero si quieres tener una experiencia así, eso sí que vale la pena. Eh, ahora entiendo, ok, todas las demás no te dan el, el empujón, pero esta sí te manda el... <laughs> Si no estás preparado, yo creo que te mando a volar directamente. I'm like, if you're not prepared for this one, you probably go offline somewhere. But um, I thought the other ones were pretty light. You know, you, I mean, if you've never done this like me, I've never done this. And I thought when I saw people that, oh, okay, that must be, it must hurt your elbow. But no, they're all really, really soft. And this one really does give you that pullback. But that was, that was intense. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Ahora, ahora entiendo por qué a la gente le gusta tanto. ¿Y este cartón se saca o se deja? No, este lo tenés siempre, ¿no? No, no, eso se deja ahí. So, is this what a, what a sniper uses? Yes. That, wow. that, that's one of them. That's, they have many tools. That's one of them that they use. Again, it's designed for uh, anti-tank, anti-vehicle, long ranges. Um, remember, you're shooting at targets that are well over a mile away, so you want something heavy that still has a knockdown power. Yeah, yes. Because the weight is really what's going to get it further away. Yep, right? that's yeah. exactly what. Claro, cuanto más pesada la bala es lo que hace que pueda llegar más lejos. Un francotirador, claro, necesita algo bien pesado. ¿eh? You Use go. your logic, you know. <laughs> Qué inteligente que somos. <laughs> bueno, y ahí me estás poniendo todo lo que tiré, ¿no? Esto es lo que disparaste en este en esta Diana o este target, okay? So dice qué es, qué tipo de arma, el calibre y de dónde dónde es. Y el tamaño son las mismas, ¿eh? sí. Casi, casi. casi. Eh, recuerda, en esta Diana disparaste dos tipos de calibres, 9 milímetros right. y 5.56. So serían lo mismo. That is crazy. That's awesome. You did very well. Miss, miss, I've never done this before. I haven't. Well. <laughs> But you know what? I've always thought I, I would probably have a good aim, you know? So I was right. <laughs> tenía, tenía razón. Tuve buena, buen... Buen tiro, digamos. Así que bueno, para... Um, everybody gets to take this home, right? When they come here? Yes. Yeah. So, eso te lo puedes llevar a la casa cuando vienes para que tengas de recuerdo, ¿no? Por supuesto, eh, si te fue bien o si te fue mal y por ahí vas manejándote a ver cómo te ha ido en las últimas veces que has venido. Y, sigui y siguiendo viniendo a disparar, a practicar con los instructores, to get better. Yeah. I, I can't get better than that. Uh, we can work on it a little bit. We can work well, on it. But you know what? That was the automatic, though. Okay, so we're gonna I guess get you. We're you have get to get better in the automatic, right? The automatic, we're gonna get him in the orange. Because it's difficult to, like, just, you have to have a lot of. You gotta keep coming back. You gotta keep coming back. That's all it is. Eh, todo lo que fue alrededor, eso es por el automático, ¿no? Que se te va, por supuesto. Si no estás acostumbrado, pero dice, tienes que volver a practicar. Una vez que practicas, vas a tener el automático bien ahí. Bueno, o sea que terminan ahí. So, who cleans all that up? We'll, 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 the armor is going to come out and get everything ready for the next customer that comes out. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. <laughs> vamos para afuera ahora. Terminan ahí entonces y vamos al lobby y nos despedimos. So, same thing that I did. That's, a, that's the experience that you guys are going to have if you um, come here. So, now you oh yeah, I can't wait to take these off. <laughs> My ears are hurting. All right, perfect. Oh. Now, these are picked up. They're sanitized every time, just like the eye protection to be used for anybody who wants to use them next. Those you could chuck in the little garbage right there. You sure you want to recycle, recycle that? Those, those <laughs> Dice, lo de lo de lo de también hay que tirarlo, digo, pero todo lo demás obviamente se lava y se, se sanit, sanat, sanatiza. Sanat, 
¿Sanatiza? No. Es una palabra nueva, yo creo. Es una que palabra nueva. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, ¿Cómo sería cuando algo se limpia? Se limpia. Se limpia, pero... ¿Sanitizes is how a word in Spanish? I didn't know that. Me gusta la manera que... O sea, está súper, like... It's really clean in the sense... I mean, not like... I mean, it is clean, but I mean in the sense that the decoration, it's very modern, yeah. And thank you, and we're actually going, that's, the, that's, steriliza, that's sterilized, yeah. Great job. I hope you use it. It's sterilized, so you're The, what we were going for was, was that. We want safe, enjoy, if somebody comes in and says, hey, you know, I, I feel comfortable then. That's the atmosphere we want. Male, female, young, old, want everybody to be comfortable here um, when you come to Lock and Load. All right, so go ahead and invite everybody. I definitely had a great experience. I'm going to put some ice on my elbow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm actually, it's actually, it's, it's fine. Like, it's just that moment. And then, and the but you do feel, you know, you got you to have strength in your, in your arms because if not, you're going to be tired after holding it for so long. How do you guys do push-ups before you go <laughs> next time? That's, that's a good no idea. Problem. Now, uh, another thing is uh, we're, we're kind of doing like a military traditional thing. Okay. Uh, everybody that follows, everybody that follows uh, military careers and whatnot, there's challenge coins that are given. That what the challenge coins are is basically you made it to the team. Que ya llegaste a ese nivel, eh, es parte del equipo. Um, yo soy eh, el gerente de Lock and Low, que es este es mi equipo, mi, mi, mi familia. So cuando usted dispara con uno de los instructores, los otros damos un regalo, un memory, que es un challenge coins, que sería estos challenge coins. So por disparar con el instructor, eso no es tu regalo para usted. This is our challenge. We don't sell them. You earn them by shooting with the instructor. So yeah. shake your right hand. That's yours. And for being brave and shooting the 50 cal, this is your 50 cal challenge coin. All right. So that's another challenge coin that you get. All right. There you go. That's yours. I'm rich. <laughs> Can I sell these now? Can I? <laughs> that's pretty you've neat. Them, you've them. They're yours. You've earned them. They're that's yours. That's pretty neat. All right. Um, it's cool because you get to take home like a memory. It's yeah, not you don't just say, "Hey, I shot," you know, this and that. No, you got proof, man. And uh, military tradition with these, is, as they do everything, they turn everything to drinking games. So these actually, <laughs> these <laughs> actually are, are your coins. If uh, somebody throws their coin down and you don't have yours, you're buying a round of drinks for everybody. So make sure you keep Wait, your. Wait, so coin. how does it, how does it go? That they're at a bar uh, and they throw this down. They throw their their unit coin down. Uh, military police, everybody. And they have that they're buying the round. If 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 the if the person that doesn't have the, their coins is buying a round of drinks for everybody. So you always have to have so it on make you. Make sure you have your coin on you. Huh. All right. Okay. See, we learn something new every day. Well, we learned a lot today, actually. Hoy aprendimos algo nuevo. Bueno, te dan esto. Esta grandota es por haber disparado la de 50 calibres. Eh, y la chiquita, pues, es por haber disparado todas las demás. Thank you. Eh, te la regalan cuando vienes, depende de lo que disparas, por supuesto, y dice de que es una tradición militar, por ejemplo, si están en un bar de todos los militares y la persona viene y pone en el bar su moneda, todo el mundo tiene que poner su moneda, el que no la tiene, tiene que pagar el, los tragos. <laughs> Hoy aprendimos algo de, de los militares. Beautiful. That's your coin, so those are your I'm kids. taking home so many things. <laughs> the memory, the memory me me llevo so muchas memorias a mi casa, eh. Can I make like a... That's a little bit too big, right? Es muy grande, yo creo que parece un collar o algo. Bueno, saludo a todo el mundo que te vengan a visitar. Muchas gracias y por favor, no se olvide de Lock and Load Miami en Wynwood. Come by, we'll take care of everybody when they come in. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks, Mirkad. Uh, love you. Have an amazing evening or day or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. And if we're live, then day. So uh, Lock and Load Miami here in Wynwood. And uh, yeah, I guess if you want to have that experience, I repeat, you know, only for recreational purposes only. <laughs> and uh, this is the only place where guns should be used, okay? You have fun. And uh, it's cool. It's a cool experience. You know, I, I changed my mind. I was a little bit scared, but it's cool. Bueno, chévere la experiencia. Yo tenía miedo al principio, pero... Ah, sí, my glasses. <laughs> oh, my, yeah, something felt wrong. <laughs> um, pero bueno, para alguien que nunca lo ha hecho, eh, me parece chévere. O sea, también uno de los únicos lugares donde deberían realmente estar usando armas. Así que bueno, loco no Miami. Nos vemos. Thanks for watching Miami TV. Bye, guys.